Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. Okay, as we begin, we're looking at the dollar uh, to get some sentiment indication of uh, our dollar pair. We're also going to look at gold. And we can see the beautiful month of uh, September that we have for the dollar. And then we see the October uh, reaction to that. Uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit here and we can see a little bit better. So again, we had a great month of September for the dollar and then we had a bad month here in October. For the states, the, the states with that inverse relationship, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 had a great October. And we're seeing a little leveling off here. This has a little bit to do with what's going on with the Greece situation and so a little, little bit of flight to the dollar as Greece threatened to, you know, get out of the the eurozone bailout and so what we have to watch here now is a couple things first we can watch 7650 uh, as, as that's showing as a little basing area uh, and then of course above these wicks which is around 77.8 and see which way we get a break out of this range if we break below 76 you can see we could go all the way down here to 74.4 if we get above 77, 78-ish, we can go back and test 79 or even our, our, our past swing high here of 80. So we're going to watch these two range uh, that we had here this week and see which way the market wants to break. And of course the question is, what's going to be the catalyst for that break? Now uh, also with the dollar, we can see gold. And we can see gold certainly... Um, once it finished its uh, consolidation right here, uh, we broke out of it, we touched our resistance, came back, tested our 20 and 50 moving average, and now we put an inside bar right at that support level of 1750-ish. Um, and so, again, <coughs> that is our inside bar. We know we talk about inside bars all the time, so we want to put uh, an alert here at 1770 and an alert here at 1745-ish and see which way we break firmly in the direction of the trend. So we would love to see a 1770 breakup to watch for a move higher. We see our point of control where the volume is really accumulating here at 1755. Um, and you can see if we get above this accumulation of 1770-ish, that's what we're seeing here the past two days. And we can see uh, below 1745, uh, really below 1750, we get into a little vacuum here, and our really next peak is not all the way down here until 7820, although there's a little bit here in 1742. Finally, we'll take a look at crude oil, and we can see the, uh, the good move we've been having with that. Um, sideways actions, and then now we broke out all the way, made a run to 95, which is the 200 moving average. And we can see a lot of volume accumulation here on the volume profile uh, with 93.30 being the market uh, point of control. So uh, <clears throat> what we'll see is uh, we do get, we have a little consolidation also here in between 90 and 95. So we'll watch and see if we get a break one way or the other. All right, so there's our, our sentiment indicators. Let's go ahead and take a look at the currency pairs. Okay, as we move on to our euro dollar, we can see a couple things. First, I want you to notice our downtrend line that we've been watching. 
and notice that we went right on up to it. And even though we also failed at the 200, but we failed at our downtrend line. And also our newly forming uptrend line we're watching. So there's a wedge that we're watching. In addition to this 1.38, 1.36 uh, channel that even though we broke out of it, we came right back. Broke out of it, came right back. Sure, the grease and whether or not they're staying in the bailout brought us back into it. Um, so, but you can see that 1.36 stopped this, this move down. So we're going to see where we break out of this, you know, so watch for a break above 1.388 or, or below 1.36. Here on the water tire frame, we can see we are in a neutral zone just above our uh, long-term moving average. And when we look at who's in control, we can see the parallel price action, the snaking of the currencies. And what do we see with price action? It's also consolidating. So no one's really in control, although it does show the dollars above fractionally. Little up move here to euro, but basically going side to side. Same thing here with the dollar, a little up, but for, for the most part, it's going side to side. And that's what we see in our price action. Uh, right now, we did have just a little uh, extreme move for up move, and we did get that, uh, but we are in a neutral zone, so we'll have to see where we go from here. For the pound dollar, we can kind of see a much larger range that the, the the pound dollar is in, and if we wanted to, we could come on over here and draw the downtrend line there and some type of whoops uptrend line here, but I'm not sure how valid that's going to be. Uh, but it, it certainly is something to watch. Uh, right now, we're sandwiched in between the 200 and the 50 moving average and the 20 moving average. Um, a little consolidation here. You might be able to, although again, we see a much larger range. You could make a, a slight argument that there's going to be some support here at the 1.59 price level. And again, I'm just watching those wicks here and then what's being ordered right around here. So. Again, sort of like the euro dollar, we'll see what happens, which way we're going to break above the 200 or back down to test the 50 million average. On a one hour time frame, we are in a neutral zone. Uh, again, we can see the snaking of our, our, our currency pairs and we see thus the consolidation of price here. Uh, dollar is in control, which would imply uh, a potential for the price to go lower. Uh, the, the pound is moving up a little bit, but look how long it's really just been going sideways. Same thing with the dollar. Again, we got a heads up that we might bottom a little bit. But right now, we are in a neutral zone. And we're going to finish off with the dollar franc. And we've been watching two areas here, uh, 0.891 and 0.857. And once we tested it and came down, tested 200, and now we're in that range, and so that's what I'm looking for a breakout of. Certainly, you can watch the lows here um, and see 0.8734. See if, if we break that, we're probably going to run down to 0.857. Um, and again, watching a break higher here on the one-hour time frame, we are in a neutral zone below our long-term moving average. Again, more snaking from here, which means more consolidation in price action. Ever so slightly, Frank's in control, and the story remains the same. Moving up on the franc, but really sideways. Moving up on the dollar, moving sideways. Here we got a heads up of the, the potential topping action, which we did get here. Uh, but likewise, the action is in the neutral zone. As we come to today's watch list, we have just a couple candidates here. Our low volatility candidates is where we're looking at the one hour time frames. Using Bollinger Bands to find low volatility to find those pairs that are consolidating. And for that, we'll be watching the Aussie dollar. What we do is watch the price level of the upper and lower Bollinger Band and watch for a break of those bands, preferably in the direction of the current trend. For our inside bar watch list, we are going to be watching today's range being Friday <coughs> and compare it to the previous day, which is Friday, uh, Thursday, and see if Friday's range is completely within Thursday's range. And then once again, we mark the high and low of Friday for that pair, and we watch for a break, preferably in the direction of the trend. For that, we will also be watching the Aussie dollar. As we get to our education spotlight, we're continuing to talk about trading plans, and 
Last week we talked about the process of trading and, and, and some of the steps you can take as you move into trading. And today we're going to continue that because we talked about filters. And a filter basically is a set of technical indicators or a set of steps, a criteria that you use to help select potential trades out of a thousand possibilities. There are a ton of uh, forex pairs, obviously. And some people use indicators. I prefer to use chart patterns and price action. Um, and what it does, it allows you to focus and, and look at if the market is up, I'll look at these forex pairs. If the market is down, I'll look at these forex pairs. It allows you to filter out the ones that you shouldn't waste your time with and focus in on the ones that are in a trend, that are uh, uh, have some type of economic event coming up, that, uh, and again, have some type of chart pattern practice and letting you know that hopefully the, the trend will continue or we may see support and resistance here. We may see a pause. All of those things help you focus and make sure that you're watching the right pairs each day. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate, where you focus on personal finance. We still have our free five-course video on high probability trading. And it's, it's for all investing, not just Forex, but it helps you frame the market. And it, again, it's a great way to help you develop your own filters for trading, especially based upon chart patterns. We hope it gives you a gauge to who we are as coaches and how we can help you one-on-one -on -one, uh, develop your own filter, develop your own trading plan, and help you uh, acquire a trader's mindset so you can follow that plan consistently. If you're going to trade Forex, why not get paid to trade Forex uh, uh, rebates for your trades and change the spreads and the conditions, just rebates for your trade. And finally, if you're looking for signals or a provider, we have that for you too. Find the one that matches who you are as a trader so that you can follow those trades properly. In the end, it doesn't make a difference about your system, your indicator, or your high probability trading setup if you can't pull the trigger. Our job is to be able to filter the market, to be able to discern which trades are for us, which ones are not, and then have the trader's mindset to implement that plan day after day after day. And that's what we do as coaches, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.